let me zoom in a little bit. Now we get into the point where we need to actually mark some of these faces in, as invisible so that we'll be able to walk, see and walk through them inside this little base. So I'll switch over to visibility and I'm going to lower the uh, the radius down to one so I can see exactly which uh, which quads or faces I'm hiding using this. And then simply control and right drag across making sure I knock out enough of the pieces so that the uh, the entrance here looks completely on let's see need to maybe paint those out and this is where with the uh, quads being only visible or invisible we will have to go back and actually add a little bit more detail using static meshes around this outside to cover up where we had to cut into that uh, the hill a little bit in order to make this walkway so with that let's see uh, for starters I'm going to go ahead and load up some static meshes so we can go about building the a few decorations around this to make it look a little bit better and hide some of these cuts. So I'll load up the static meshes and let's load in. First, let's start with uh, Antilus and grab some uh, some rocks just as basic uh, decorations. And Antilus static and let me see some of the names. We can start grabbing um, say one of the rocks and add that at the entranceway. And zoom out a little bit, start running that in. I might actually grab all the brushes themselves and move them a little bit so I avoid cutting into the floor. I might move them up just a little. Then I could paint that one square back in as visible. Now let's see. Just got to position that so that the widest radius about matches up with where that cut face was. Let's see if I can zoom in a little can't quite get a good view on the front side of it, but it does need to be brought down a little. Might just use a perspective view. Just to move it into the side. Or maybe rotate it a little. Like such. And let's see, maybe even bring it forward just a little bit. And while I'm at it, let me go ahead and let's see. I want to paint that one face back in and simply move the move the brushes up so that's that's not an issue where we don't have that poking through the floor grab all the brushes and I'll move the last one up since the builder one's in the way just move these up about one maybe maybe roughly eight units or so and deselect and then move the builder brush out of the way and match this final brush up with the others moved up the same amount if I was to rebuild all now uh, we could spend more time and fix that one little corner but that shouldn't get in the way too bad let me just go back and tweak the static mesh some more to move it in as a matter of fact while we're moving brushes you could move all of them to the left and just avoid that edge altogether brushes move them over rebuild so that's a little bit of cleaner edge on the side there start moving the static mesh back in maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit back and about like such now we need to start filling in this area what we might do is just grab the bottom of this brush and pull the vertices out so they sink into the ground there. So what I'll do is I'll grab that addition brush and in the front view go ahead and grab some vertex editing and pull that down into the train a little bit. Let's see, maybe just a little bit more. Sink it in really well so it's very noticeable. and that way it's sunk into the train a lot better. As a matter of fact, that whole side just about lines up now. Uh, what we might do is go ahead and duplicate or even grab a different version of that rock and add it to the other side. And let me rotate it a little bit and move it in just to fill in any possible gap on that side. And let's see, maybe even move it in a bit more. Just to the side there. 
And okay, so now we just need to cover up the top a little bit. So I'll grab maybe one more rock to add to the top. And that one I might go ahead and scale down a little. Just so it's not so covering all that geometry. Rotate it a little, pull it back, just to add a little bit, just a bit more detail. Let me look at it from inside. And without, for just a little bit of tweaking, that should look okay where we have, let's see, the basic cut, and I don't know if you want to lower that edge down a little bit so it looks more like a tunnel. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so with that, I mean, a little bit of an entrance way. Of course, you could go and spend the time to pull out this entire length here out into a hill so that you'd have, like, a more train looking. But already it's like a, uh, basically a base built into the ground and then with rocks around the entrance. So you can see we have terrain formed out here, but from the inside you can see directly into it. And as a matter of fact, just for make it look just a bit better, we'll add a few lights to the entrance and inside. Won't tweak these too much, just allow us to build with lighting and then get a better representation. A little bit dark, but still that's more of what it's starting to look like. We can actually go and hunt down that old sunlight and point it in from this way if we wanted to. I don't know if you want to hunt down the sunlight or just... Actually, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, you can you can definitely see a lit hallway going in there. That's pretty cool. Right, so from this side you see you have a terrain-type hill, but you can still look at it from this way and see and actually walk all the way inside it. Right. So that's pretty much the basics of... I mean, at the heart, all this really was to uh, to make this possible, simply painting or setting the visibility of some of those faces. Notice that the faces are still there. They're just marked as invisible, so you'd be able to see and walk through them. Very cool. All right, well, that's going to wrap up this lesson. Thanks.